Hi there, you're watching the DSL News on the Visitor Channel. Dining in St. Lucia would not be complete without a reserved seat at the Chart House Steak and Seafood Restaurant in Rodney Bay Village. The Chart House has set the standard for over 26 years with succulent steaks, fall off the bone, hickory smoked baby back spare ribs and the freshest seafood on the island. Our serene waterside dining in a tropical open plan setting, our friendly courteous staff and our simple approach to preparing the tastiest dishes has won us the kind of popularity only word of mouth can secure. The Chart House Steak and Seafood Restaurant Angus certified to ensure you're satisfied. St. Lucia's future lies in the hands of our youth, and you might be a little surprised where they're getting their inspiration from. Here's more. RISE is an organization that we, three of us actually founded, um, in response to what we felt was, uh, was a gap in the, 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 the thrust and the drive of, of national development in the interest of the youth. So what we felt is we wanted to create this organization that would begin to advocate for the things that were necessary to change the environment to allow our youth to really flourish. Because we felt that the reason that our, that our youth are suffering and are angry and frustrated is because the the environment within which we're, we're living is, is actually unfriendly to youth. It's not co allowing our youth to grow up in the manner in which they should. So, and that is really the responsibility or, or the fault, I should say, of, of, the, of us, the older generation. So we felt it, it, it was important that those of us who are older decide, look, we're going to do something to try and change this environment. RISE was born in 2007. I, what I have found is that um, I have learned that through RISE, you can engage young people. And um, my, more, my more recent, we've been doing that in a number of different ways. The most recent one was the scholarship initiative that um, we got when we were looking at, at how we could empower youth. And we hit on the education message and saying that, you know, the way, to trans the way this society has been transformed over the years as it has. Social society has really transformed a lot, but it's only transformed because of education. It, when we mobilize the young people and said, okay, fine, here's what the situation, here's what's happening. If we're going to be successful here, you guys need to now have your, you need to start doing that advocacy for yourself. You need to start campaigning. We can help you, but you need to start taking this thing on. And they did. And what began to happen, I realized the power of it, was it no longer became um, this person speaking for, for these people or for youth, but the youth themselves began to go out and, and they got on their Facebooks and they got on their, 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 their talk shows and they started to do everything. And they were telling me how we had to do it and what we had to do. And then all of a sudden, I saw the shift in the, even the, whole, the way the society was viewing that whole argument. Then I think that is when I saw the change occur and the government actually said, okay, fine, we are on board with this. this is not, we will make it happen. 